Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Watford Road to Glory. Now as you can tell there is no face cam cause of what happened in the last episode. If you don't recall, um, basically the face cam ran perfectly, put it all together and when I went to edit uh, the face cam just complete, was completely ruined. So, that, so the previous episode turned into a post com. But this is a natural live com, don't worry, there's just no face cam. And I think it's probably best. So last episode, what happened? Well, we finished season two and uh, we won the Premier League, an absolutely fantastic achievement for us. Obviously, first season we won the uh, FA Cup and obviously last season we won the Premier League, which is absolutely fantastic. We're in the Champions League now, so we must improve the team. And also to let you know, uh, I did try to get the financial takeover Unfortunately, I used up what I had, and the next one, I'm just too far away to get. I did try gifting it from my second account to my main account, but it said I already owned it. So, unfortunately, there's not going to be financial takeover in the series, so I'm quite limited to how much I can spend. But anyway, let's, let's get into this episode, and I'll show you who I've shortlisted for, well, transfers, really. Right then, so just to let you know, all players are being scouted. I've got Bojan here from Stoke. Looks to be very, very decent. Remember, I had him in my Ultimate Team series, Road to, the Road to, Glo Road to Glory series. It was fantastic in that. He has, he has a cam in this update, but I'm going to be probably using him out on, out on the right. I've got Jermaine Campbell. Now remember, Lloyd Doyley retired at the end of last season. This could be his region. I, I'm not 100 percent sure, but this could be Lloyd Doyle's region, and that's because he's 19, obviously six foot two. He's from Jamaica. Can play centre back and right back, so I'm thinking maybe go for him and then just loan him out. M maybe I don't know, but I'm thinking. But this could be Lloyd Doyle's region. I'm hoping it is. I uh, also got Johnny Evers from Manchester United. Looks to be quite decent. Could be. Hopefully he's got hopefully he's the at least eighty rated, maybe eighty one. Then got Francis Cochlem, who I, as you guys know I'm very short on strikers, so I'm well not strikers, uh sentiments, so I'm gonna try and bring in a couple of sentiments on the limited budget. I've also got Alex Song. He's obviously at Barcelona. Got a Jack Wilshire. Now remember, I did say in one of the episodes it was against Arsenal that I would try and sign Jack Wilshire. I could struggle because of the wages and everything, but I'm gonna give it a go. Got Adrian who plays for Everton. He moved from West Ham to Everton. We got Ray Patricio who helped Sporting Lisbon knock, at, knock us out in the Europa League last year. He's on there. We've also got Seamus Coleman from Everton. Uh, we've got Pioni Sisto. Now that now there've been a lot. Of people on other, uh, other YouTubes using Sisto in their career mode, and he actually looks quite decent. Uh, we've also got Fabio Barini because we need to bring in a, maybe another striker. Because I'm thinking of selling one on, try and make it sort of realistic. Because uh, Vidra and Forest Terry have left Watford. Well, Vidra's gone out online, but Forest Terry left Watford for Sheffield Wednesday. So I'm thinking of doing something like that. And then we've got Sol Solomon Rondon who actually joined West Brom in real life. So I'm going to wait for these scout reports to come. I'm going to then inquire and then we'll see if, if we can try and sign at least two of these players. I'm definitely thinking a, a centre mid and possibly a right mid. So it will either be Sisto or Bojan and centre mid, Jack Wilshire, Song or Cochran. So we'll have a look. And see what happens. I right, so have a transfer offer here for Kevin Akpoguma. Uh, seasonal on Sunderland. Slowly growing. He's 67. I brought him when he was a 64. So he's slowly growing. Just not enough for my liking. So he's going to get another season out on loan. So he's going to Sunderland. And Vidra's gone to Valencia for uh, 9 million. We have got 7.5 into the transfer budget, which is absolutely fantastic. And Vidra has gone to Torino for 2.5 million. Um, the board allocated 2.1 to my transfer budget, so it's not too bad. Let's see if we could. We'll wait for the scout reports to come back, 
and then we can have a think about putting in some offers. Right then, so we're starting off with Barini. He's a 75 rated um, striker, which would be fantastic for us. He'll be he'll obviously be playing up front. It'll be fantastic for us if we can get him in 75 rated. Whether he'll join is another question because he's coming. He'll be coming in from Liverpool. But looking at those stats, I mean, he's got it's pretty it's pretty decent. What's his finish like? 75 finishing, not too bad at all. We then got Rondon, uh, plays for Zenit, 81 sprint speed, 91 strength is fantastic, 82 attack positioning, 80 finishing, 86 heading accuracy, 85 shot power, rate is 79. That could be good for us, and no, I think he'll be he'll be a really good striker for us, especially when we're playing in the Champions League. He'll be banging in the goals, and I'm pretty sure we can win the Premier League title if we have him in our team. We then got Sisto, uh, plays for Mitch, is it Mitchland, or how you pronounce it? 72 rated. Uh, good sprint speed overall, good acceleration, good agility as well, and good dribbling. Looks to be a good player for the future. We've then got Seamus Common, rated 80, but he, I think he can also play. At right mid as well, so if I need him to, I'll just have to quickly check that because I'm I want to make sure he can. Uh, there's many a right back, but I'm pretty sure back when he was younger, he used to play at right mid, then got converted into a right back. But you know, he's got high attacking, high defensive work rates, which is really good. Which means to be bombing down that right side. 90 stamina, which is what I like to see. 83 sprint speed, 81 reactions. 82 stand tackling, 81 crossing, 80 marking and slide tackling. Not too bad uh, for rated 80 right back. We then got Adrian who's rated 77. 84 reflexes which is not too bad. That's mainly a green stat. Looks to be very happy at Everton but we'll have a, we, could probably, we could probably get him from Everton. Uh, Rui Patricio rated 80. 28 years old. He's got 80 handling, 80 reflexes and 83 diving. Could be a possibility, but again, would he want to join us? I mean, he did knock us out of the Europa League Sporting Lisbon, and it's all thanks to him. <laughs> but we do need to bring on a goalkeeper now that we haven't got Nyland. Uh, Jack Wilshere, rated 82. Again, you just look at those stats, I mean, they're just awesome. Obviously, I know him from my Arsenal career mode. I know how good of a player he is, and he'll be fantastic for the team. Whether or not I can get him to join is another question. I'm hoping I can. Francis Cochrane rated 89. I just look, 95 aggression, 90 interceptions. Holy shit! Definitely want to bring him in. He's going to be fantastic playing that CDM role. Maybe alongside Schmidt. Maybe alongside Lyon. Who knows? But I'm definitely interested in signing him now. Looking at those stats, I didn't realise Cochrane's older than Wilshere. I thought Cochrane was younger. Hmm, look into that. Uh, we then got Alex Song, who I already know the stats about, rated 80, 87 aggression. Whether I'll be able to game is another question because of the wages. The wages are sort of a bit of a problem in this game, with some being like over 100 on 100k a week. Jermaine Campbell, Lloyd Doyle's region, rated 56. Not too bad for a 19 year old. I was, I was maybe hoping for a little bit higher, but if I bring him in, Definitely going to send him out alone, and he looks to be really strong as well. At 67 strength at only 19. I mean, that is just fantastic. And we then got Johnny Evers, rated 78 at 28 years old, 83 head in accuracy, 81 interceptions, and 80 inter uh, 80 reactions. Looks to be quite decent. Looks to be if I do bring him in, he's going to be playing possibly alongside Prudel or Belkalum, depending on which way I want to go with this. But hopefully. Whether I get again, whether I get him in, another question. And obviously we've got Bojan, rated 80. Definitely want to try and bring this guy in. He looks absolutely fantastic. 85 acceleration, 84 balance, 86 dribbling, 84 ball, ball control, 83 curve, 83 agility, 83 vision. I want this player. And if I do, it could be many players on the right. Getting down that right hand side, putting the crosses into whoever the striker is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some inquiries now and then 
once those have gone through and we get the emails back, we can see how much each player will be worth. Right then, so we've had some inquiries back and, oh my god, are you serious? 27.5 million pounds for Bojan, Song, 9 million, not too bad, Wilshere, 29 and a half. Adrian, it's going to cost 5 million, which is not too bad, Patricio, 16.5 and Sisto six and a half million pounds. Oh, <laughs> so some of those inquiries are a little bit too high for my budget. This could be a problem. Uh, other, we've got transfer over here for Lyon. Why would I want to get rid of him? I mean, come on. Definitely reject and disallow future offers. So, no, I'm not selling him. Uh, Evans could cost eight and a half million, which is not too bad. Cockland fourteen million could be decent for us. I mean, I'll obviously want. I would love to bring him in. Coleman nineteen point five million, so I may have to look elsewhere for a right back because that's just too expensive. And Barini four and a half million. Is that all? That is cheap. <laughs> so I'm thinking Cockland definitely want to bring him in. But I'm not going to pay 14 million. I'm probably going to pay 11.5. See what they say to that. 11.5 for Coquelin. Uh How much was Rondon? I can't remember. Adrian was 5 million, so he's definitely one. Uh, did, I get, did I get an inquiry back by him? Where is he? I uh, yet to have one back for Coquelin. Uh, not Coquelin. Um. Rondo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an offer for Adrian, five million. Is it worth it? I'll go four. I'll, I'll put in a four million pound offer. Let's say no, that I'll just give him the five that they want. Um, definitely can't go for Bojan, which is a shame. Wilshire I can't go for, so I have to delete that. Adrian, Song could be another option. Bojan obviously I can't buy. Barini, we'll put in an offer for Barini before. Four million. Uh, so four million for Barini. Uh, Coleman gonna have to look elsewhere for another right back. Evans eight point five. Obviously putting off a four Cochran, so we can delete that. Uh, Barini we've done. Adrian we've done. What's Patricio sixteen and a half? And Sisto six point five. So I'm definitely gonna go in and get Sisto. Maybe for five million. Should be alright to get him. Uh, Patricio, do I go for him? I think I will. So I think Patricio will be out of the question. That's just to decide whether I'll go for Song and Evans. Depending on how much money we've got left. But now we have got a difficult game. A difficult friendly. We are against Paris Saint-Germain. <laughs> Obviously we've yet to make any changes to the team. Hopefully we could do that in this episode. A one all draw, not too bad against Paris Saint-Germain. A very difficult team to play against. But a one all draw, Bore getting our goal. That's fantastic. That's actually not too bad. I would have happily taken a draw. And that's what we've done. Fantastic stuff. Let's continue on. Right, and so, this, te this, <laughs> this team, Michelin, or however you pronounce it, have set, I've accepted the offer of 5 million plus Sisto. Four years is going to be crucial for us. 15k a week. Let's try and get him into the team. Uh, so that's done. Liverpool have accepted the offer for Barini. 50, I'm going to put up to 55 because I know it's going to be a struggle to get him in. Important first team to play. He's on a squad rotation at Liverpool. So obviously going to bring him in on an important first team player. Everton, they want 6 million for Adrian. I might as well just go for it, you know. 6 million. Might as well just go for it. Need a goalkeeper and Adrian will be good for us. Uh, they've accepted 11 half for Coquelin. 80k. Uh, let's put it up to 85 on a crucial first team player. I'm hoping I can get some players in. And you know what? If this could be a struggle because they're coming from bigger teams. But maybe because we won a couple of trophies recently, they may be persuaded to join us. Hopefully that is the case. Fingers crossed. Uh, in terms of Evans, I may have enough money to pull this one off, but I'm going to drop it down to 7 million. 
Let's pray we can actually get some of these players in. It'll be amazing if we can. But now we've got another difficult our friendly. We're against Napoli. We're away this time, so they will have the home advantage. I'll take a draw, like I've always said. And we do. A one all draw against... Uh, Napoli, obviously we drew one all with Paris Saint Germain. We've drawn one all with Napoli. It, it's been a really, it's not, it, it could be a best friendly season, but I don't care. It's, it's a draw against Napoli against difficult oppositions. Couldn't ask for more. Right, so Manchester United have accepted for uh, Mr. Evans. Eight, eighty-five. Gonna be crucial for us. Submit it. And there we go. Okay, so Barini wants a bigger role. So, still give him the 55. But that means crucial first team player. I gave him importance, so that was a little bit of a step up. But it looks like he wants crucial. He's going to get crucial. Because he's probably going to be playing week in, week out. So, hopefully Barini can join. Let's just hope so. Right, so Watford want me to qualify for the Champions Cup this season, so that's not too bad. And we have some good news. Sisto coming in, 5 million, 15k a week. That's the right mid, sort of sorted, maybe go for a loan option. Coquelin, 11.5 million, 85 grand a week. Welcome to the team. And the last one, there was one more I believe. Oh no, it's just a... Uh, it was just a transfer offer there. Oh man, two years, crucial. Let's hope Adrian joins. This will be huge. Looks like we made two brilliant, could be three good signings. Last friendly, it is against Stuttgart. Uh, we've got Ben Amos coming in. We've also got two new debutants. Cochrane starts alongside Schmidt at CDM and Sisto will be playing out on the right hand side. Let's see if we can get a result. Stuttgart, not the best team in Germany. This could be a winnable game. I said it could be a winnable game. We lose 1-0. Ben Amos, mate. You've let me down. Ah, they scored on his 77th minute. They also went down to 10 minutes. So how could we not win? Or get a point at least. Doesn't matter. Let's just continue on. We've got an offer here for Essaid Belkalem. Rated 77. Flipping heck. He's got 3.8 million pound offer from Nice is valued at 4.2 and you know what that's a kick in the backside I'm gonna ask for 5.5 from Nice and then that way we've got more money to go and buy whoever Evans has accepted the contract offer uh, 7 million 85 thousand pounds a week it's a big good upgrade especially if Belkalem leaves us for Nice and if they accept the counter offer but we have got Johnny Evans this has gone so well. I've got in f uh, was it three good players. I couldn't ask for more. This is this is fantastic, and we've got press conference because we've got the Capital One Cup game against Arsenal, which I'm sure we're going to lose. <laughs> ah, now we've got a problem, and it's in terms of um, wages and transfer funds. Brini's accepted his contract. Which is great. So does Adrian. But six million. Add four million is ten million. I've only got eight hundred thousand. Plus fifteen K on wages. So that's 115k I need to, that's another hundred fifteen thousand I need to find. And ten million. I'm gonna store the office for now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask the board for some funds. And hopefully they'll allow it. If I ask them for about 15 million, they may not go for it. But I'm going to try. See what happens. All right. So I'm going to submit an off. I'm going to submit an offer for to get 15 million pounds, at which I promised them to win the league title and reach the semi-final of both the domestic cup and in Europe. Hopefully they'll accept that because that's quite a big step. If they don't accept it, then I'm screwed. All right, so Nice don't think Belkin is worth 5.5 million, although I think he does. And, but, the we believe, yeah. Excessive. Fuck. 
Uh, Berkeley must discuss wages. Shit, what do I do? I'll, f I'll, I'll find a way. I will find a way. But we... But yeah. Kind of screwed at the moment. I'll find a way to try and see if I can get around this. But I don't think it's going to happen. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed it, then please do leave a like. Please subscribe as well. I'm just going to quickly show the transfer of funds. £800,000 a week. 15k on the wages. I've got players that I want to sell slash put out on loan. So yeah, if you guys can think of any, maybe any right means I could bring in on loan, that would be really helpful. Um, we made some really good signings. We've also brought in Evans. We've brought in uh, Coquelin. We've brought in Sisto. Who are, did we bring in anyone else? I think that was it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and so please do leave a like, please subscribe as well and I'll see you next time when we've got the community shield against Arsenal. Cheers lads, peace and...